Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. This tutorial, uh, as you can see, is a dramatic sports scene, okay, and it focuses on blending images, teaching you how to mask and uh, apply some adjustment layers uh, to achieve the effect uh, that can be seen here. Okay, I've also uh, done a tutorial on a similar image, you see from Christian Pulisic, okay, here, and uh, done one of Robert Firmino when we played Wolves, Liverpool, okay, both in the same similar style, uh, again, both were done exactly the same. If you want to learn how to make this image, okay, it should be popping up on the right there, uh, on the right up here, sorry, on the screen for you, uh, for you to learn how to do. Uh, so I'll get straight into it. Uh, and I'd also just like to use this opportunity to say I've just recently gone past 550 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already and you're watching uh, my channel for the first time, hit subscribe uh, just to, and have those notifications turned on for when I do, uh, do give a latest tutorial. I've had a lot of nice comments recently from people on Instagram and uh, on YouTube saying that they do like these tutorials. So it really does motivate me. So again, like I said, without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So I'm working on a Mac, so I'm gonna press Command N. Okay, for a new document. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I've got uh, millimeters as my measurement up here. Okay, I'm gonna set my width to 460. And my height is gonna be 310. I'm going to make sure I've got 300 pixels per inch for resolution, RGB 8-bit and a white background, and I'm going to click Create. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get our image of the Spurs Stadium from the Champions League last year. Okay, and I'm just going to position it. Now you can see it's, uh, it's we're able to adjust it, so I'm going to hold Shift and Alt, Okay, and I'm just going to drag it so it grows in equal proportions and hit enter there. Now, what I do want to do is just raise it up a little bit. Let me just check how did it on this last one. Yeah, so it's quite high, so it didn't have too much sky. Let me just check. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the night sky. So what I like to do uh, when I'm masking out sky, especially when you've got a, uh, a stadium, okay, if you're using uh, doing some sort of sports tutorial, you can see all this fine glass. Okay, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to Select. I'm going to go to Color Range. Okay, and it's, you set your fuzziness. Okay, you might need to adjust that, but uh, pick your color, okay, and it'll uh, adjust it just up in, uh, up in here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to click OK, and then I, every single tutorial I get this wrong. I'm going to mask yet. Yeah, press Command Z, go back. Okay, when it's like this, when you got the uh, the marching ants, as I like to call it, hold Command Shift and I, and that inverts your selection, and then click Mask, and you can see a lot of it's dropped out. Now it's going to be a bit untidy at the minute, so what we're going to do is uh, before we do anything else, make sure I've got my background layer selected. Okay, you could have done this before, it's no, it's no major drama. Okay, and I'm just going to drop in the night sky. And again, hold Shift and Alt for it to grow in proportion, just so it grows beyond the constraints of the image. Okay, and I'm just going to lift it up. And I want to get the Milky Way in there. So, I'm going to press Command 0 just to re resize it. And use your arrow keys just to nudge it around. And... That's looking good to me. Let's just double check. Yep, so I had the Milky Way going across the top there. So, let's give it a little nudge up. That's fantastic. Now, as you can see here, okay, it's uh, it's not brilliant. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click on this little icon here, for your mask. Okay, I'm gonna hold Alt, I'm gonna select it. And now you can see the area where with masks. So what masking does is means we're working non-destructively. So we're not deleting any pixels. So if we do make any mistakes, we can just apply it and add it with your black and your white. So I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. Okay, I'm going to choose a soft brush. We've gone a little step too far. Sorry, wrong. Hold Alt, press that. Okay, hit my brush tool. Okay, and what I want to do is, because these areas are mass, I want to paint them back on. So I'm going to make sure I've got my opacity and flow set to 100. Okay, I've got my soft brush. Oh, in fact, I'll use a hard brush. Okay, and I'm just painting on. Now, if I get rid of, hold Alt and click the thumbnail. Okay, I'm just painting on. 
However, if I was to press X, so I've got the black as my four color, okay, I'd be painting away. Does that make sense? So make sure you've got the white selected, okay, and we're just gonna paint on, but it's easier if you click Alt. So this area here, but what I want to do is, and take your time with this bit, I want to avoid these windows at the back here as well. So it's probably why it's a good idea just to have a hard brush. And I'm just gonna paint, and for the purposes of uh, this tutorial, okay, I'm just gonna quickly gloss over it. Again, keep clicking Alt just so you can reference. So the scoreboards, we don't want them. Okay, and just keep referencing until you're happy. So all this area here, I'm happy to paint over. Now what we did is when we selected the color range, it, it picked all the colors in a similar, um, all colors similar to that palette and masked it. It's just a quick, easy way to do a sky. And like I said, if you're following along, take your time with this. Press K on the keyboard, okay, and just pause this video. So there we go. So now, as you can see, we've, uh, we've masked away. Looks fantastic. However, what I do like to do, okay, I keep referring back to this bit. Double check in. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is, because this looks a little bit too false, shall we say, okay, I'm just going to drop my flow down, we'll try 20% on colour. Yeah, a little bit too strong. So I'll drop the flow down even further. I'll just try three. Okay, and I'm just gonna paint over the top of the the, uh, the canopy, should we call it, of the uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And you can see there straight away it's blended it in quite nicely. So we're painting it away a little bit, but it's just helping it blend in a little bit more. So you can see where I've just painted it again. It's not it's not great, it's not that even. Okay, whereas if I go back to that brush tool there, you can see. Yeah, it makes a massive difference. So just go back a few. Uh, go back a few more. I'm just going to one flowing movement, holding down my brush tool. Yeah. Okay, that's looking there uh, a lot better now. Yeah, brilliant. So what I'll do is, let me just check, keep like to go back a little bit more. Again, keep emphasizing, take your time with this make it uh, look really good. So that's looking a bit better with our stadium. So that's fantastic. But what we need to do now is we need to uh, do the grass as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the grass above the, um, the sky, so I'll call that sky. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna drop our image here, and we're gonna paint this on as well. Now, what we're going to do, looks a little bit messed up, but bear with it. I'm going to click on this uh, icon here. Okay, I'm just going to paint away all the grass. Now again, take your time. Get a hard brush to start with. Okay, we're just going to paint away the pitch. So what I'm going to just do now is I'm going to quickly speed it up until I've done the grass. Okay, and then... Uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've uh, masked out the grass now. So again, it's uh, it's not looking quite right, is it? So we need to uh, blend that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some. Uh, we'll come. In fact, we'll come back to it uh, shortly. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some lights as well for this dramatic scene. So if we go back here, you see I've got these lights in, and the lights here. Okay. The, uh, the lights that we didn't have before. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Make sure you got uh, this top layer selected. Okay, we're gonna create a new layer. In fact, 
before we uh, get cracking with that, what I need to do is, d -d -d -d, we need to make sure you've got the grass, we'll call that grass. Okay, and we need to mask out the grass as well. And make sure you've got black selected. Hit the brush tool on your keyboard. Okay, and we just need to uh, paint out that grass. Just in this area here, because if we take away the stadium, Okay, there we go. So again, working non-destructively. So Command Zero brings it uh, back in, and we can see our night sky again. So if we take away the night sky, there we go. And you can just mask around the stadium, so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, anyway, so we've created our new layer. Okay, we can. Uh, just uh, go down to this little icon down here, create a new layer next to the trash can. Okay, we've got a new new layer. And what we're going to do is we're, uh, we're going to make some reflectors. So first thing we'll do, we'll name it reflectors. So I'm just going to click on the letter in. Reflectors. Okay, we're going to grab a soft, soft brush tool. So I want to make sure I've got white selected as well. Just in here, if you don't see white, just press D and then X, okay, and separate there. Okay, nice soft brush tool. Oh, press Command Z to go back if you do anything wrong. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over these existing lights. And you'll see why in a second. Now, I want to replicate it on the other side. So we add, we'll say, and we've got one there, one there. Again, take your time with this, level them up. Three, four, five, and then there's a gap, and then, should have one there, is that about even, do you think? Let's have a look at this one. Just did four on that one. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go with this. Okay, it looks okay. Again, take your time with that. Okay, I, I have rushed it a little bit there. Okay, now we're going to go up to the top to click to layer. And we're going to go down to, where is it? Layer style. There we go. Outer glow. Okay, and I'll just, we'll see these reflections on the left here. Okay, we're going to set the opacity to 90%. Okay, sometimes you just have to play around with this. Colour white, the spread needs to be 2%, and the size 220. So, let's just play around with it. There you go, just got to drop that opacity down a little bit. Okay, depends. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit different. We may need to come back and uh, just adjust this. Don't want it to be uh, too much. Just let me look at that opacity. It's a little bit too strong. Might have done it, them a little bit too big. So if you do, if you have a big brush and it is too big, okay. In fact, what we'll do is we'll come out of this. We'll try it again. Name that reflectors. Okay, and then make it a little bit smaller and see what happens. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, we'll do one there, five. Okay, and like I said, layer, okay, layer style. Uh, outer glow. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, so make sure it's not too big. I wondered why that was. So uh, 90%, noise zero, spread 2%, so 
increase the spread you can see what difference we're making there keep it on around two percent uh, and size 220 yeah 220 looks about right uh, and click OK so you can see now uh, we've added our reflectors which is looking fantastic uh, again I don't think it's equal in proportion there doesn't matter so as you can see got our reflectors there okay now we're going to add some shadow on the grass so we're going to go back to this uh, this style here because we've got our reflectors now okay start to uh, add in some uh, effects so new layer make sure you've got the grass selected new layer okay now I'm going to hold alt and hover okay what we're doing is creating a clipping mask so this means everything we do on this layer directly affects the layer underneath so or you can right click and go to create clipping mask and you'll see this little arrow here gonna make sure we've got black selected just hit that little arrow or hit X okay swaps them over and again I'm gonna drop that flow make sure you've got your soft brush still selected okay I'm just gonna paint on a little bit of shadow and again that might be a little bit too much so we're gonna keep coming back to this layer in a minute but we'll just do the initial initial shadow you noticed on the original image it was dark in this corner as well and uh, down this side so it looks a little bit better but we will be coming back to this layer here just over the front there as well There. okay it's looking a little bit better and we'll call that shadow so we'll be coming back to this layer because that's not complete uh, as far as I'm concerned okay we're going to add a brightness and contrast now so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to this little palette here in fact make sure you've got reflectors selected at the top okay down to this little layer here okay brightness and contrast In fact, what we'll do is we'll do it the different way. So we'll get rid of that. Okay, and we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. And we're going to click use previous layer to create clipping mask. So again, we're putting it on uh, as we did before. Yeah, that's right. Let me just have a look. I don't think I did that last time. Okay, we're, we'll go with it. We'll see how we're doing. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to set the brightness. So I'm just going to click a little uh, half moon here. Okay, the brightness, uh, we're going to whack down to minus 150. And the contrast to 50. Yeah, and I don't want that clipping mask on. That's not right. Okay, I'm going to make sure I've got this little uh, little box selected here. Okay, we're going to use a soft uh, soft brush, okay? And what I'll recommend for this bit is just change the size and possibly the angle. So if you right-click, okay, you can see we can just bring it down. And have got the flow on five, so we'll see how we're getting on. All we're going to do, as you can see, is just painting on the light. So you can see this glow we've got going on here. So, again, I can't stress how important it is just to take your time with this get that flow right down ok 
okay and it just emphasizes the um, it emphasizes the uh, what you, the, the stadium lights that's the word I'm looking for so again I'm just going to keep print, printing down and what I'll do is lock it off there and I'll paint it just there and what's this done is it's it's extensuated if that's the right word the highlights on the grass as well um, so again just keep painting on so if we got rid of it there and then you can see that we're focusing on this main area here doing all the grass and it's looking looking pretty good and just paint over there so um, again we're just highlighting the uh, the stadium so yeah again play around with it all right it's going to look a little bit different from mine uh, to what you're doing now especially if you're using a different stadium or a different crowd or different lights or whatever but again you can see how on this image it's a little bit darker in here and it's probably about the same but for now uh, we'll just go with it let's just have a look uh, brightness and contrast yeah it looks good and you're also going to get a little bit going up as well with the stadium lights no not in the middle there i don't like that bit but yeah that's uh, that's looking a lot better there uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit more glow. So we're going to create a new layer. Okay, we're going to call this one glow. Uh, again, if I'm going too fast, uh, just remember you can hit K on your keyboard. You press J, it takes you back 10, 15 seconds, I think, or L will take you forward 10, 15 seconds. So uh, again, I'm waffling, or if you know all this, you can uh, just keep going. Okay, we're going to set the blend mode uh, on this layer. So, blend mode uh, to linear dodge. Where are you? <laughs> linear burn, linear burn, linear light. Linear dodge, there we go. So, this is how, so what this does now is all the pixels on this layer is how it interacts with the uh, the pixels underneath. Okay, pass it here. We're going to set to 70%. I'm just reading these from the notes from uh, what I made before. Okay, soft brush tool, again, okay, and we're going to set the flow up there, I put the opacity down to 20%, and just over these lights now, we're going to add fact I've just used black there my bad uh, okay so glow linear dodge 70% opacity apologies not shouldn't be black should be white and there we go you just click over and again it just extensuates the glow of the lights nice soft brush tool see how it's just increasing and it looks fantastic and if you remember these lights shouldn't even be here so you can see the difference we've made already if you get rid of the glow get rid of the brightness oops there we go it's looking really good again if it's a little bit too strong okay you can uh, just drop it down as we go along um, it's entirely up to you um, so yeah that's looking fantastic uh, we've pretty much done the background now if we go back to the shadow bit again make sure I've got the black selected okay um, I like to work with the flow 5% again you can just have black down here in its case blended in the uh, the sides quite nicely it's looking really good 
So next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the players. So I've got my Spurs players here. Which order did I do them in? Let's have a look. So Son, Harry, Moira, and uh, Ericsson. So uh, we'll get Harry Kane in. Shift and Alt. Okay, grows in proportion. All right. If you just don't have it, uh, hold Shift or Alt. Okay, you can see it just growing uh, any size. Whereas if you hold Shift, it'll just grow in proportion like that. But if you hold Shift and Alt, okay, it grows in and out. Uh, again, this little uh, arrow here. If you move that around, okay, hold Shift and Alt. It's going to grow in proportion from uh, where you're using that little marker from. Just a little bit of a top tip. So I'm just going to check the size. I'm holding shift. Let me just check the size of where Harry's head went. So he was about here. And yeah, it might have been a little bit smaller. Well, we'll adjust him again in a minute. So I've got these renders off footy renders. They'll be in the links below. Um, and we had Son on his left. Shift and alt. And because he's going to be behind him, it's going to make him a little bit smaller. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop him down below Harry so he's behind him. So let's have another look. So Command T brings up your constraints box. And that's looking good. I'm doing a lot of talking to myself at the minute. I just want this to be good for the tutorial. Yeah, it looks a bit better. Moira. Okay, so I've got Moira in the way kit just to uh, just to break up the image so it's nice on the eye. Spurs away kit. And make him a little bit bigger. Let's just double check. So it's not just four white shirts just in a row. Just breaks it up a little bit. It's looking a bit better, yeah. And then Ericsson, where are you? And then place Ericsson over here on the right. And Ericsson's going to go down to the bottom because he's going at the back as well. And Command T, I don't think he's the right size. Again, just use your arrow keys just to nudge him around. Again, a lot of this tutorial is just me just uh, being finicky. Um, what you want to do is you want to get your biggest player or your front player at the front, and then because it's like growing in, because of the proportions, they want to be going in a bit of reverse. And come on, T. And does that look all right? Does that look good? I can't really tell. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll go with that, looking all right, just keep waffling on. Now what you can do is, uh, so for a lot of my tutorials, I do the same thing when it comes to uh, the blending. So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, make sure you've got the glow selected, all right? And we're gonna click new layer. So we've got the layer underneath, and we'll call this the base shadow. So I've done a tutorial on how to create realistic shadows. So if you're still with me again, I'll get that to pop up here on the top right of the screen. Give that a little watch, okay? And it goes in depth uh, into how I create my shadows and what I do with them. So what I'm gonna do is, in fact, before that, so with Son, I'm just gonna create a little layer mask again, okay? Flows on 5% there. I'm just gonna, uh, Maybe up to eight. I'm just going to get rid of this bit here. That's not natural. Okay, a little bit of his studs as well. Just get them in. Just paint them away. Who else? Does anyone else need it? Um, they look all right for now. Right, so go back to this layer base, base shadow. Okay, and 
put it on about 20 percent okay what i'm simply going to do is i'm just going to have a, a shadow layer directly beneath where the, uh, the players touch the grass nothing too crazy just enough so it's nice and subtle again you take your time with that there we go see what we've done there so what we're doing is we're just blending blending them in so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create some shadows so probably the best way what I'll do is I'll blend the players in so we've got the initial shadow bit and then uh, we'll add the shadow so make sure you've got hurricane selected hold shift down and click on Christian Eriksen he should be your bottom layer so all four layers are selected okay we're going to press command G and we're going to group them we're going to call them players so to save time and effort all right you can do this for every single player but it's just easier create a new layer add a clipping mask like I showed you before okay I'm going to add some highlights and shadows uh, again make it nice and easy so make sure I've got my black selected I'm going to use do the shadows first okay and if you you used to my um, my tutorials you know what I'm going on about now okay we're just going to paint some shadows so bearing in mind the lights at the back all right the shadows need to be at the front so for example with this football okay I'm just going to paint on some shadow there and then you can see we've uh, We've created that shadow. So we're going to do that for all the players. So I've done a little bit too much there. What I'll do is probably keep it on 2%. Okay. And take your time. What I'll do now is I'll speed it up. Okay. You'll see what I'm doing. I'm just painting it on. And uh, I'll show you the effect at the end. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, I've just spent a few minutes just adding shadows. Okay, uh, I've not gone too OTT. Again, I've made a few mistakes as I'm doing it, but um, just for the sakes of this um, this tutorial, you can see the benefit of what I've been trying to do. So again, if I just get rid of this layer here, you can see the shadows where I apply them much in the same in the same sense as this layer okay probably uh, Ericsson looks a bit better if I just paint that on there and this boot's looking a little bit bright just underneath there so again uh, take your time on this uh, can't emphasize that enough okay uh, I really took my time on this um, on this image here that's probably going to be the thumbnail for the video okay but um again just uh, take your time what i just want to reiterate as well is okay as you are doing the shadow so for example doing lucas moira's arm here just be conscious when you are painting on all right you know, it's not a, it's not a clipping mask uh, for one place for all of them so you can be painting on here but then you'll be also painting on uh, ericsson's uh, stomach there as well so just be aware of that um when you are doing it so what i'm going to do now is it's exactly the same so i'm just going to call that uh, shadows okay i'm going to do exactly the same but for uh, highlights so again create a clipping mask make sure you've got hit x make sure you've got white selected okay and i'm just going to paint on some white and just accentuate those highlights um again it kind of lends itself well on people's skin tones okay just in the places where you haven't had uh, any shadows and good god just zooming in there i've just seen the state of that there <laughs> so i'm just going to quickly sort that out so it just goes to show there just take your time when you uh when you are masking and blending 
Right, I think you do it properly. I can't believe I didn't pick up on that before. And yeah, I'm happy with all that in there. So I'm glad I noticed that there. That's why it's always important just to uh, just to zoom in on your work, just make sure it's all sorted. So apologies. Uh, players, and we're back on the highlights now. So like I was just doing then, just add uh, add some highlights. Oh my god, flow! Get that flow back down to one or two percent. Okay, and uh, just paint it on again with the ball. Created a clipping mask. If I zoom out a little bit. Again, you can just see how I've accentuated it. Probably a little bit too strong for one uh, percent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back. Thanks. Yeah, there we go. So uh, hit the brush tool, flow. Make sure we've got the highlights layer now. So I'm going to call that highlights, and I'm going to do exactly the same. So what I'll do is. 2% probably bump it down to 1% okay I'm going to do exactly the same and I'll get back to you in a sec okay so here we go as you can see I've just done the highlights again nothing uh, nothing too crazy but uh, you notice what we've got to add now is got to add the shower shadow so what I like to do is I like to have the players kind of blended in okay got on base shadow click a new layer and what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm just going to paint it on so again this is going to take a little bit of time so make sure you've got black selected okay and we'll try it you see i am just just painting it on there so I'm just going to do an initial bit underneath the players okay underneath Kane Underneath Son. So you see we've had a little bit of shadow there. Similar to we've got it here. And because we've got the lights coming from both sides, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint it on like so. Again, using different style brushes, similar to what you'd see um, on a football pitch when they've got floodlights coming from all different angles. So I'll make that one a little bit smaller. There we go. And again, I don't think that's a bit, it's nothing too dramatic. You can always change the angle of the brush. And again, make it a little bit bigger and just paint away like that. Okay, not keen on that last one. Uh, again, if it's a little bit too much, just take that opacity down to your heart's content. So let's have a look. Yeah, I didn't really do them too strong. So they're looking okay there. So we'll call them main shadows. Fantastic. Okay, so what we've done now is we've got our image. Okay, I'm just going to finish it off with the uh, final effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command, Shift, Alt, and E, and uh, sort of like a screen grab. Okay, and now I'm going to apply the camera raw filter. So I'm going to create a smart object. So this means that we can uh, go back and edit it and convert to smart object. Okay. Works within the files and in the grubbins of Photoshop. Nothing to get bogged down in, but basically means in layman's terms you can go back and edit it once you make something a smart object. So I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to camera raw filter. Now, if you're using CS6 or below, okay, you won't have this. Um, however, you can get a, an add in or a plug on, or what I use, you can just use as a, uh, additional adjustment layers. So click on camera raw filter. Just let that load up. So, temperature. Okay, I'm going to do minus 20.
and the tint, I'm going to do minus 20 as well. I'm going to change exposure to minus not point minus 0 0.06. This is what I used on the last one. Contrast, I'm going to put to plus 20. Okay, highlights, minus 80. I might not go as deep on this one. In fact, we'll go minus 70. We might need to come back and adjust that one. I'll see what that one looks like. Uh, in fact, we'll keep it minus 80 so I've got my notes. And then the shadows, plus 75. Whites plus 60. There we go, yeah. Blacks minus 40. Clarity, I've got as plus 40. Uh, vibrance plus 10. Around there, plus nine, and then saturation minus fifteen, and that is looking pretty good. And click OK, let that do its work, and there we go. There is our image. We got there in the end, and it's not looking too dissimilar to the one I made before. Obviously, it's never going to be exactly the same, uh, and again like uh, your image that you've created, probably going to be a little bit different if you're using a different stadium. But everything's uh, everything's there in the end. Okay, again, if you're not too keen, just uh, change the fill or the opacity, okay? And you can uh, adjust it to your heart's content. Okay, um, you can see the difference there. But no, thank you. So thanks for watching. Hope you uh, learned some more from uh, this tutorial, okay? Um, like I said before, blending those images, blending that grass. Again, like uh, like I discovered and alluded to when I went to paint on the shadows and highlights, okay, make sure you just take your time and just double check and get everything right. Okay, don't rush through it. Hit K on that keyboard. Uh, and again, just, just make sure everything's all right. What I like to do is with these tutorials, I like to watch them through, see what I'm doing, and then I like to follow it along. So maybe something to consider, just watch the whole video through or any tutorial video you watch, watch it through. Yeah, I'm happy with what I'm doing. And then uh, go and create it and follow along rather than just jump straight in there. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you're still with me at this point and if you're not subscribed, okay, please consider subscribing. It should be floating up here now. Uh, it'll pop up uh, in a second. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, smash that like button, okay? Uh, get that YouTube's algorithm working, let more people see this and share this video because it really does motivate me to uh, to produce these tutorials and seeing the uh, comments. Honestly, it's, uh, it's absolutely superb. So uh, thank you very much. Thanks for your time and uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you did create something like this and you share it on Instagram, tag me in uh, at TB Photoshop Tutorials and uh, I'll be sure to give it a like. And uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next tutorial.